Welcome back to another video and today is the continue lessons from the last video which is about the major organelles so I'm going to share the major organelles and a brief explanations of their functions the first one which is mitochondria are the power houses of the cell these tiny road-shaped organelles convert chemical energy into energy that can be used by the cell. The second one, which is the endoplasmic reticulum. is a network of folded membranes that run parallel throughout the cell. The ER, which runs from the cell membrane to the nucleus, form channels in which materials may be transported within the cell. The ER also functions to partition the cell into compartments. In this way, an activity which affects one portion of the cell does not necessarily affect the whole cell. And the third point, which is ribosomes, are tiny grainy organelles that line the AR and synthesize proteins. Ribosomes contain molecules of ribonucleic acid, RNA, which is a single-stranded nucleic acid. RNA molecules recombine to form protein molecules. And the fourth point, which is Golgi bodies. It's a process and package the protein molecules that have been synthesized in the ribosomes. The Golgi bodies discovered in 1898 by Camilo Golgi and function to build the complex protein molecules that are secreted by the cell. Cells that produce Hormones or enzymes contain a larger number of Golgi body than other cells. The free point, lysosomes. Lysosomes break down protein molecules into simpler forms. Protein molecules that enter a cell are very seldom in a form that can process by the cell. The lysosomes break down the protein molecule into simpler molecules so that the ribosome and Golgi bodies can rebuild them into proteins needed by the cell. So the sixth point, one or two centrals are found in most animal and human cells and consist of bundles of microtubules. Centrioles at the cell in reproduction. The seven point vacuoles transport food, water, or waste material within the cell. Each vacuole is bound by a membrane. Plant cells often have one or two larger vacuoles, but animal and human cells often have many smaller vacuoles. So this is the picture of the structure of typical plant and animal cells. Let's look at the left one, which is the plant cells. So we have several mitochondrion, zytoplasm, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, chromosomes, nuclear membrane, nucleus nucleus cell membrane golgi bodies vacuole chloroplast this is all part about the plant cells and look at our right one which is the animal cells we have golgi bodies central mitochondrion nucleus chromatin nuclear membrane endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, vacuole, cell membrane, 
and zetoplasms. So yeah, this is all parts of other structure of the typical of plant and animal cells. So that's all for today's video.